Welcome friends, I am Tanmoy and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and History of Molecules. Today we will discuss a uh, name reaction that is Kochi reaction. Okay, this is a continuation of Hunzika reaction and uh, Hunzika reaction. You can consider this as a chloro derivative of Hunzika reaction. Chloro or chloro version of Hunzika reaction, but it is little different. Okay, and another thing in this reaction, no silver is used. Okay. And in with just instead of silver, two other reagents are used. One is lead four acetate and another is lithium chloride. So I'll explain. You keep it in mind. This lithium chloride is the source of chlorine. Okay, and lead is the reagent for oxidation. And we know that lead is not very stable in phosphor oxidation state, and it has a tendency to undergo reduction. To produce the corresponding uh, lead to salt, okay, and that is the importance of this reaction. So what happens here? This lead is reacted with this carboxylic acid. So what it produces first? This carboxylic acid coordinates to lead. Since it has four carboxylic acids, so if one carboxylic acid coordinates, they expected that the third, fourth carboxylic acid will eliminate, and that's the happen. So first, these two react and eliminates one. Eliminates means here produces acetic acid. Okay, and actually, if we write the structure of acetic acid, that is CH three C double O H. Fine. So right now in medium, two types of carboxylic acid there. One is RCO OH and another is acetic acid. Okay, in this way reaction happens. After this, this is till now this lead is in four oxidation state. And this free acetate is added. So next step, what happens is homolytic cleavage between this lead and oxygen happen. And this is Fischer arrow. Please keep it in mind. Fischer arrow is important for radical reaction. So for radical, for homolytic cleavage, radical reaction, it is mentioned this Fischer arrow. Fischer arrow. Actually, Fischer arrow uh, is used to catch fishes. So this arrow is seems like that. That's why this is called Fischer arrow, and this is homolytic cleavage. Okay, this homolytic cleavage produces this acyl radical, this acyl radical, and lead two plus. This is reduced species because you can see previously it was lead plus four. Right now it is plus three. Lead three is plus four. Right now it is plus three. So fine, this is. And uh, still, but one thing, see here, lead two, but still, so one in reduction is less, and this is also a decarboxylate uh, chlorination. That's why decarboxylation will happen, and actually that happens at this stage. So it one arrow from the one electron here, and in this way, this alkyl radical is produced, and this is the carboxyl group. So this is the decarboxylation step. Decarboxylation step. So fine. This is the decarboxylation. So what happens? Like similarly, other Hunziker reaction. It is this step is little confusing. So just accept it. We do not have any support. And it is so it is believed that this radical, this chloride, and this lead tetraacetate reacts and produce lead two. This is also one unit reduced and RCl our product. Okay. Now here one uh, question. What? How you can remember? Because this see this is a radical neutral. This is a electron excess species chlorine, and this is a electron needed means hungry. So what happens? If this provides one, these two react to produce RCl, and one extra electron is there, and that electron is taken by this lead three to produce this lead two species. So in this way, from carboxylic acid to this alkyl chloride is produced. So what is the advantage of this reaction? Okay, the, the mechanistic course is not completely understood. It's proposed. Thing advantage of this. This is very good for secondary and tertiary alkyl chlorides. Okay, which are generally difficult, but this reaction can provide. This is better because another point you can think that this radical is stable in that case because we know the radicals are stabilized by radicals stabilized by hyper conjugation. Please keep it in mind. Radicals stabilized by hyper Conjugation and this is a seven electron species. What do I mean? This is a seven electron species. Carbocation. Carbocation is 
6 electron species, radical 7 electron, carbon and 8 electron octet field. So this is the electron deficient and you can see in the first stage I have showed one carboxylic acid we have taken and another carboxylic acid means acetic acid is produced from lake tetraacid here. So in medium two types of carboxylic acid there. So like that this can undergo this reaction means this can enter and perform this reaction it actually happens and that's why the side product of this reaction is methyl chloride. Okay, so this methyl chloride is coming from this acetate ion generated from acetate, acetic acid generated from acetate ion and this carboxylic acid. So this is the understanding about uh, the basic concept and mechanism. Let's uh, discuss some examples. Let's continue the discussion of few examples. Okay, so what happens? You see here, this mainly these are uh, generally not uh, primary, secondary or tertiary. So what happens if this carboxylic acid taken with this is a secondary carbon it reacts under similar uh, fashion and benzene is used as a solvent under heating condition and it produces this means this carbon uh, carboxylic group is eliminated and have alpha to this this chlorine uh, from this lithium chloride salt this is added and along with this what is produces this produces carbon dioxide because this is decarboxylate lead is converted into lead acid lead diacid okay and another, sorry this is 2 and along with this acetic acid so these are the overall thing you can see this reaction is completely uh, completed now second example about pinacolic acid this is a very interesting acid because in pinacol pinacol rearrangement you can see we have prepared this acid and this is a tertiary butyl group attached acid so it's a difficult to prepare using that those type of special method we can prepare this acid so this is that's why this pinacolic acid is special so and this pinacolic acid also undergoes the reaction under same condition and this carboxyl group is eliminated to produce this chlorodeleted fine and th this third example you can see one unit extra this is methylene and actually it is a prime this uh, acid is attached to a primary carbon and this is a this group this group is neopentyl group means this three uh, methyl tertiary butyl and ch2 this so this undergo the same reaction to produce this chlorine attached to this primary carbon now what is indicated by that this example indicates that no carbocation as intermediate. Okay. No carbocation as intermediate. What do I mean? Because if carbocation is produced as an intermediate, then definitely this undergo uh, real. What do I mean? Because if this means CH2 plus, if this is produced as an intermediate during the reaction, then Definitely this methyl would have been migrated and the tertiary carbocation is produced and halide should undergo attach that position. But this is not happening. So this reaction indicates that this not, doesn't proceed through the formation of carbocation as a intermediate. Okay, fine. Now let's discuss the fourth example which is little tricky. What happens? Uh, this first attached with this red tetraacetate means this this is C double bond O, O means this is PB, uh, means one acetate will eliminate after this as acetic acid. So this will be acetic acid plus. So this is fine and here is another OH is there. Now you can see along with acetate there is a heat and this pyridine. So as we know as we can see that there is no lithium salt so it is expected and in product there is no halide so it is not directly but mechanism resembles what happened this pyridine attacks here this comes here another thing decarboxylative elevation anion generator happens here and that uh, attacks here so in this way this gives and this so what is the driving force for example in this reaction for let's see first what is produced so here you can see first this is this double bond is produced this alkene two carbon dioxide produced that is an one of the driving force that gas is eliminated and see the most important thing this carbo this carboxyl group became a good living group because of the reduction means the oxidizing nature of this lead which undergo two electron means this two electron is taken by lead that is the reason that why this reaction undergo uh, completion and in these units to produce this and this. 
So you can remember this example, this is a unique because if you do the batch reduction of benzene, what do I mean? Sodium liquid ammonia, then this 1 4 uh, addition happened. So just to recall you, because I have already made two videos about batch reduction, just to recall the concept of this, I told you this is. So in this way also this could be prepared. Okay, fine. So this is the end of this discussion. So uh, if you like my teaching, please give a like and share this video among many people so that many means your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort. And finally, please subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. So stay happy, stay blessed, try hard, you will definitely be successful and my good wishes with you. See you in the next video.